Now listen to part of a lecture on the topic you just read about. Today, let's take a closer look at the debate about banning plastic shopping bags. Although such a plan may seem unfeasible at first, the benefits of a plastic bag ban far outweigh any potential drawbacks. First of all, plastic bags harm the environment and create pollution. For instance, they can easily be blown away and、uh, get caught in trees and waterways, where they can kill marine life. And paper bags, with all of their shortcomings, aren't much better. So, what's the solution? Cloth bags, rucksacks, and even wicker baskets are all good alternatives to plastic bags. That's because these bags are far more durable and can be used almost indefinitely, which helps to reduce waste and to free up valuable landfill space. On top of that, plastic shopping bags are notoriously difficult to recycle. They are very flimsy and have few uses outside of a limited number of products. In addition, the petroleum-based material that plastic bags are made out of can damage recycling machines. Making the bags more expensive to recycle than to produce, and you know what else? Researchers have found that very few people, less than five percent of a given community, actually make an effort to bring their plastic bags to local recycling centers. And then there is the issue of different laws in different places. Sure, one town may ban plastic bags, while the next town over may not. But this doesn't mean that shoppers will, you know, resort to using plastic bags when they are away from home. These people generally、uh, bring their preferred reusable bags from home. In fact, there have even been cases of shoppers refusing to take plastic bags out of principle.、Uh, they know the drawbacks of plastic bags and refuse to use them even when offered. Now listen to part of a lecture.